So Matthias, you're the uh, product line manager for Huber Sooners uh, RF products. Can you maybe give us a high level overview of what we're looking at it on this wall? Okay, yes. So what you see here is actually products which satisfy one basic need and that's communication. And with the introduction of smartphones you see a huge data rate uh, explosion over the next years and the wireless industry has struggled to bring enough data to the headset and how it ties down now is that the industry provides different access solutions. So you need to bring the wireless signal to the handset and for that the industry classically has rolled out macro cells. The next step in that evolution is that uh, you build out wireless networks in buildings and that is the first part you see here is products for in-building coverage of cellular signal. Now the next evolution to that is that in big cities we have to go to smaller cells and that's a so-called small cell initiative you see in the, in the industry and what that means is two things. You need to have cost-effective base stations with cost-effective components but also very challenging in that is the backhaul. So we need backhaul for small, uh, smaller distance, lower cost and the backhaul needs to be unobtrusive, so people don't want to see radio systems, they need to be small, cost effective. And the third trend we see is that the industry starts to take Wi-Fi seriously, because Wi-Fi is another spectrum which can be used to bring data to, uh, radio, uh, to handsets, and so the industry is starting to build out uh, Wi-Fi offload um, uh, access points. Okay. So what I'd, uh, one question before I hand you the mic, and I'd like you to walk down the line here. This is the RF wall. Yeah. Uh, a minute ago we talked with Drew Martin who showed us some of the um, cabling components. How does uh, Huber Sooner separate the RF from cabling? Is this different business lines? Yeah, so we do, we are split in different product divisions. So you have an RF division and a fiber optic division. But when we go to market, we always combine our efforts to make sure we bring every part of the solution to that market, be it fiber, be it power, be it RF. So when we face our customers, we pride ourselves by having all the different solutions in our portfolio and our customers recognize that. Okay, so I'm going to hand the mic to you, Matthias, if you could just walk us down the line here and talk about some of the key products you're focused on this year. Okay, thank you. So what you basically see here is three segments of wireless technology. You have this sector here which covers what we say cell site and you see here a few examples of our DAS antennas. So what DAS is one of the biggest growth areas because you have 70 percent of all the communication is done in building and where we excel in this type of products is that we have very broadband systems so very future proof and extremely low PIM, high gain. That makes sure you have a future-proof investment, you have uh, the best performance by having low PIM, and you actually have an aesthetically nice looking product. What you see down here is more the outdoor cell side products. This here are surge protectors and they are put in to protect cell sites and also here we make sure we have the highest performing products and what is particularly important with LT rollout is passive intermodulation. If you have passive intermodulation issues you have a reduced uh, capacity on your cell site and that is a, a, an immense amount of costs. So we have the lowest PIM uh, products in the market for surge protection and make sure our customer have really a high value there. In this middle section, this is the section I call wireless backhaul. And wireless backhaul is a big topic for the small cell rollout. So because it's extremely cost costly to dig fiber in urban areas, wireless backhaul will be the solution. And Huber Sooner did develop in the past a whole revolutionary millimeter wave link to get in touch with that type of application. We now go back and say we're a component supplier and we develop flat panel antennas which allow you to make very small form factor backhaul links. This is a revolution in technology and will enable small cell rollouts. What you see down here is also surge protection solutions for gigabit 
uh, signals. Everything will go to very high data rates in backhaul. And the third section I want to mention here is Wi-Fi. Traditionally, we always have played in the Wi-Fi arena with heterogeneous networks. Today, Wi-Fi is a big part of the network and we have a full-blown portfolio of MIMO solutions for this Wi-Fi rollout, for in-building, outside, um, and there's a lot of investments going that part of industry. So we have a very comprehensive solution within that uh, communication space. Thanks.